Today we're visiting an extraordinary piece of engineering that most of you know from looking at it from the outside, but today we're going to show you the many underground parts. We are in Moravia in the Jeseniki Mountains visiting the Dluth Strain Pump Storage Power Plant. And this is a truly extraordinary work that I have always wanted to see with my own eyes. And today I have the opportunity. I'm currently walking on top of the dam and you can see a large body of water next to me, the dam. You may be thinking, it wasn't exactly easy to build such a thing here in the mountains, but you can see the lower part of this work, about 800 meters above sea level. Up there at 1,350 meters, there is a similarly large body of water that was built in such a way that you could say that the top of the hill was cut off. That hill has been remodeled and there is a huge volume of water that is being pumped down and back up like that. So when you've got it up, you've got what's called a charged battery. You drop it down, you get that energy, you drain the battery until it's completely empty. Let's say the battery is dead and you have to charge it, so you have to pump that water back up again. The distance between those bodies of water is roughly 1.5 kilometers, so there are two intakes, two pipes, 3.6 meters in diameter, that can get all that volume of water down in a fairly short time. This whole complex was completed during the existence of the independent Czech Republic, but the idea is much older, dating back to the mid 1970s. And the idea was simple. You need to find a place that is so dramatic in terms of terrain to put such a thing there. And that happens to be the local mountains and the beautiful mountains, which is a protected landscape area. And I think that would be quite difficult to implement today, although the benefits of this area are undeniable. If you're interested in how it works technically, what all is going on here, what parts it has, listen to our bonus interview with the director. The Long Slope Power Plant is the largest pumped storage hydroelectric power plant in the Czech Republic. It is unique in that it has two extremely large units with an installed capacity of 325 MW each, which is an extraordinary size even from a European point of view. The seemingly small concrete box that acts as an island in this dam here is the top of a 56 meter high concrete tower. So that's as tall as the tower on Lower Moravia. And it's the place where the two dog whistles with the huge amounts of water that fill this dam empty into. But these are the things you see here from the outside looking in. And if you come here to visit, you can easily see them up there, even as a tourist. But then there's a tremendous amount of construction that has taken place underground. We have just entered a tunnel more than 300 meters long, which takes us inside the rock and leads us to the largest interior space that has been excavated into the rock. We 
We walked more than 300 meters through the underground tunnel and found ourselves in this small space, which is 90 meters long and about 20 meters high. And it is the largest space that can be found here. There's 350 meters of rock above us, so we're really carved out inside the hill. And interestingly enough, all the material that's been dredged up and tunneled out here has been used to fill the dam of the lower reservoir. So everything that you find here, you pick up, you use a little bit further down the road, nothing is brought in, nothing is weighed. Very smart economic behavior, I think normal, the way it should be. There are two huge cranes above us. Each one has a 250 ton capacity. They can be coupled together and they have a 500 ton capacity. And that's because they have to help adjust the turbines that are here once in a while, pull a part out of them, replace that part, so we're in this gigantic space that has this main purpose and the pretty nice details here are that we find two pieces of art here and we also find windows that look like windows but when you look at them they have fluorescent lights in them because again I say we're deep underground so it's just a psychological effect to make you feel like you're not that deep and you're not afraid. doesn't mean that there are 755 floors but it's the elevation and it's based on the fact that we're really inside the mountain so the number of floors probably wouldn't tell you anything here but it tells you where we are and it's easy to get your bearings. Here we have one quite specific component in front of us and it's basically a water column cap. So imagine a 1.5 kilometers long pipe that's full of water and this thing is holding it up and when the power plant starts working it unscrews and allows that water to flow through. Here we are at the bottom of the Francis reverse turbine, there are two of them and this is actually the bottom of what we saw up there. So we've gone down several floors and this is still one thing that connects it. It can flow this much water in this short a time. The road that connects the lower and upper dam is unfortunately impassable in winter, but we, having traveled all the way from so far away, will try. We'd be sorry if you couldn't see what I think is most unique here in our backlog. So the weather finally calmed down a bit and we managed to get up to the top even in this winter season. And I'm so happy because this is what I've always wanted to see. It's a huge human intervention in the landscape, but I think it's great. We're up on a hill, of course, so that when the water is high, by letting it down and pressurizing it, it's going to get that energy. But what I think is unique here is that this was a pretty flat mountain and the top of it has basically just been reshaped. The two points on the opposite side stayed there and the material was spread out to the longer sides so there was some modification to allow it to be filled with water. In other words, a minimum of material was brought in, a minimum of material was taken out. It's some kind of modification. And I know a lot of people will say that nature is the most beautiful thing in the world and man can never make anything as beautiful as nature, that he can only try to imitate it. And I think that sometimes when man intervenes in the natural framework, he can make the situation even better, even more elevated, and he can create something really unique. Just as he managed to make Jested the most peaked hill in the world, 
So this water surface, which is reflected here looking down from above with the clouds floating above it, is really unique in this environment in my opinion. Yeah.